cataractcoach.com. A resident surgeon asks for help. This is case 20, and this young surgeon wants your input, so leave a comment. Now, we sped the video up to 6x normal speed because this surgery takes about 36 minutes. So it's a long surgery. We sped it up so we can watch the whole thing in about 6 minutes. Now, first things first is you got to get the focus. Why is this not focused? Why is the eye not in the center? You got to center the camera, center the microscope, and get the eye in focus here. That's important. Now, I do appreciate you have good draping there. Lash it out of the way. Now, see the incision here? Nope, it's too avascular. The incision is too much in the clear cornea. Look at that. I think it'd be pull, pull it back a little bit. Now, here we go. Adjusting the camera lighting. Now, this is just coaxial lighting. I get that you want the coaxial here. You may want to try coaxial and the um, other lighting as well, the tangential lighting paraxial so that you can have better illumination because see now you just have the center of the eye lit up with that spotlight looking appearance and the periphery is all dark you probably don't want that and again you need to center up the camera here center up the microscope here so here comes the rexus the focus is a little bit better now so rexus is reasonable but you can see that incision is a little bit too anterior i'd rather have it more towards the limbus and now little losing the rexus there a little bit and that's probably because you weren't pivoting in the incision there, so you lose viscoelastic. And now kind of completing this rexus, okay, almost done. And can you imagine if we serve this in real time, how long it'll take? Now, it's normal to learn a, 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 you know, like case number 20. This is okay. You're a beginner. We appreciate that. Let's see the hydrodissection here. I don't like the hydrodissection right across the nucleus because then you don't have room for it to come up if it needs to. But it did rotate there. I'll give you that. There's a little bit more hydrodissection. And now let's see what we're going to do here with a little more viscoelastic. Okay, let's see what we can do with the phaco probe. And phaco probe. Incision's not terrible, but mm, still not a fan. We'll look at the end. We'll see how it looks. Now, here we go. Phaco probe and let's see a groove maybe down the middle. The groove looks okay. Again, try to keep the eye primary. Try not to have the eye dance around so much. Getting a groove made. That looks reasonable. Again, see how it's not centered? Where is the center of your microscope? And why are we operating way out in the periphery there and halfway in the darkness? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Now look at the eye falling off our field here. Now you'll say, oh, I know, but my view in the microscope is bigger. No, because still, look at the round area of illumination. You're not in the center of it at all. And you think I'm nitpicking, but that's actually a big deal. I would bet this young doctor that you have not seen the cataracoach.com website and you have not downloaded the free PDF book. And more importantly, you have not gone through the full 25-part curriculum series. There's just no chance. Because otherwise, we wouldn't be seeing a lot of these issues. We have videos telling you how to keep the eye primary. Now, finally, the eye's back in primary. Is it going to stay that way? And that weird j jiggling thing you're doing, what are you doing here? Take your time. You need to focus on the basics. Let's get back to basics. Don't worry about chopping here. You gotta go back to basics here. And now what's all the subconductival hemorrhage there? It's a lot of bleeding going on down there. I don't know. And look at the incision now. Now you can see it's too anterior. Now look at all the hydration of the cornea you're getting. So again, I'm not sure exactly what you're learning here, but you need to do the full 25 part curriculum series. I'm being very serious. I have only good intentions in my heart. I want you to learn. I make these videos for you for free. I made the curriculum series for free. You make me one video, and then tell me how long it took you. And I'll tell you I made 2,000 of them. Come on. I'm doing this for you, but so put the effort in to actually do the learning. So it's a reasonable approach. Listen, for 20 cases in, you have reasonable hands, but you just don't have the basics down. The basics are what you need. Get the eye in primary. Keep it centered up. So I think you're doing a good job of where you are, but I think you need to change gears completely. You need to be a lot tougher on yourself. Don't be so content with what you're doing. And you need to get a lot better basic skills. Focus on pivoting in the incision, keeping the eye in primary, keeping it in focus. These are the skills I want you to work on the most. And that, I think, will give you the best bang for your buck here. So now taking out the lens cortex is pretty good. Let's see what we got for the lens uh, insertion. So again, this video is at 6x normal speed, so it is really fast. A lot of wrinkles are in the corner. You see those wrinkles, those decimate folds? You know what you're going to see tomorrow? Decimate folds, right? This little lamp. Okay, enlarging the incision. Why not hold the eye to enlarge it? Why not use a second hand to help fixate the eye here? 
right? That's just, you got to take a more pride in this, right? What's your, what's your signature here? Once all that coil edema goes away, it's your incision and your rexus. That's how I'm going to judge you. When I see this patient 10 years from now, I'll say, oh, let me see that incision. Let me see that rexus. Who did your surgery? And now the hydration. Okay, enough with the hydration. You're coming into the central visual axis here with the hydration too much. Now, by manual IA to remove the viscoelastic, I want to encourage you. You have good hands. You just need to get back to the basics. Let's start from step one. You go through the curriculum series. If you say you already did it, okay, do it again. Start on video one. Go through all 25 parts of the curriculum series, and I promise you, you'll learn a lot. You're missing some of the basics. Oh, with the hydration again. Please, for my, my other viewers, please leave a comment below. Give some advice to this young doctor. And again, that's where you can find the curriculum series, cataractcoach.com, the website. Leave YouTube for a second, download the free PDF book, and check out the curriculum series, 25 lessons, each about 30 or 40 minutes long. You can do it. I have faith in you.